Let's look at the molecular geometry for HOCl. Sometimes you'll see this written as HClO. Either way, it's the same thing. Let's go with HOCl. This is hypochlorous acid. So the first thing we need is a Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for hypochlorous acid HOCl. If you need help doing this here, drawing the Lewis structure, there's a link at the end of the video. So we have our Lewis structure, and we want to look at the steric number. That's the number of things that are attached to that central atom, that oxygen. So we have one, two atoms, and then we have one, two lone pairs. So our steric number is four. When you look at this molecule here, it looks like it might be linear, but these lone pairs here, they occupy space, so they're going to affect the overall molecular geometry. So our steric number, that's four, and we have one, two lone pairs. Steric number four, two lone pairs, we have a bent molecular geometry. The bond angle, about 109.5. It would be different here because we have a chlorine on one side and then a very small atom here on the other, the hydrogen. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, we're going to consider that to be the oxygen. We'll add a hydrogen and then a chlorine, and you can see they spread out. So right now we do have a linear molecular geometry, but don't forget about those two lone pairs. We add one, you can see it pushes everything down, we add another, and we end up with what's called a bent molecular geometry. And the bond angle is about 109.5. In this case, it ends up being right around 103, 105 degrees. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we have our bent molecular geometry. We could also use what's called the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. Let's move this. A is the central atom. That's the oxygen. Then X, the number of atoms bonded. We have one, two atoms. E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have one, two lone pairs. AX, two, E, two. If you look that up on a table of molecular geometries, you're going to find out that it's a bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for hypochlorous acid, HOCl. Thanks for watching.